Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is my next challenge video. Can I beat Super Mario Bros. 3 without dying? I don't think I ever had before. Let's see if I can now. So yeah, um, I did a little budget review of this way back in like 2008, and I LP'd this game back in 2011 on the SC2K channel. And I'm going to do this, or try to do this, without warping. Play through every single level. Every single level in each world. Yeah, so definitely no warping. So here we go. That fell. Hopefully it won't fail this challenge. Uh oh, I might already. Whoa. Alright. Yeah, now as a kid, Mario 3 was very, very challenging. Very hard to me. Now I can kind of breeze through it. I don't know about without dying, but we'll see. But yeah, I can pretty much breeze through it now. It's one of those games that's hard to you when you're a kid, but then you get much, much better at it over the years. However, with Metroid, regular Metroid, man, I still cannot beat that game without cheating. There's where I would usually get the warp whistle. The first one. Yeah, this is definitely one of my all-time favorite games. Mario 3 was on the top, like, top three. On the on the top 20 list in the Nintendo Power Magazine for NES games. This is, like, always, I think, on the top three. Every month, always on the top three, alongside Final Fantasy and... Um... I think uh, Ninja Turtles 1 was one of the games on there. As far as the top, being the top 3 or 5 every month in this Nintendo Power Magazine. And I remember they also had a top 10 or 20 for SNES and top 10 for Game Boy. And I think they had a top 5 Virtual Boy, which of course didn't last long. Ah, the good old days of Nintendo Power. And this game, of course, reminds me of The Wizard, which is a movie based on the true events of Skip Rogers. Skip Rogers pwned me years ago on YouTube, and back in 2009, he uploaded a video showing me how to jump out of the lava in one of the levels here in Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah, before I had my own version, my own version, my own copy of this game, I used to always want to go over everybody else's house and play it because I couldn't get my own for a while. And I think I told this story in my LP on S2K one year. I got Mario Bros. 3 for Christmas. My uncle tried to fool me, and he gave me the present. It was wrapped up. He said, now, this is a book. Now, I want you to read it. Make sure you read all of it, okay? And I was like, okay, and open it up. It was Super Mario Bros. 3. It was an awesome surprise. And of course, as the years came by, I couldn't be fooled anymore. If it was in the shape of a game box, I knew it was going to be the game I asked for. So they tried to trick me years after that and would put video game, the video game box in the shoe box, trying to make me think I didn't get a game that year. But anyway, here's... Bam Bam or Boom Boom Bigelow, whatever his name is. Boom Boom in the Boom Boom Room.
Yeah, some, now, I'm going to play these games right here so I can get stock up on as many items as I can to make sure that I survive in this game. I'm not going to go through that card game where you got to match the faces, the mushroom, flower, star faces. Because again, this is no death run. I'm not looking for extra lives. I'm looking for a lot of items to help keep me alive. I know up here is a one up, but I just want to take a shortcut through the level. Then again, slowly as this level scrolls, I think I'd have been faster if I just stayed down there and ran through the level. I don't know. At least there's no obstacles, no no way to die up here, so just take the easy road. Might as well make myself useful while I'm here and get extra life. Here we go. Remember Mario Bros. 1 when you would go up there in the heavens and the little coin stages? There was this big kid sitting next to me, he was a friend of mine, and he goes, I'm going to hit you in the arm if you miss one coin. And man, I didn't miss any coins, I got all the coins. He was like, man, I was getting ready to hit you. Alright, we're almost done with World 1 here. Grassland. Waiting for people with their marijuana jokes to start posting comments below in Grassland. These Hammer Brothers are easier than the Mario One Ma Mario Brothers. I mean, uh, Hammer Brothers, Mario Brothers. Hammer Brothers in this game were easy. And of course, there's also Fireball Brothers and Boomerang Brothers. That's how I died in the Mario Brothers One Challenge. For those of you who didn't see it, I got killed by a freaking Hammer Brother in a seven-one. Look at that, so easy. Alright, here, here we are at the castle now in Grassland, where the king has been transformed into a dog. And Toad, freaking idiot. Stop jumping up and down like an idiot. I can't stand Toad. Never liked Toad, maybe except the Mario Kart games, because he was kind of fast, and then Mario Brothers 2, because he can pick up items pretty fast. Other than that, that's it. I can't stand him. The only character that's worse than him, in my opinion, is probably Tingle from Majora's Mask. But anyway, here is the airship in World 1. Always liked this track right here. Always thought this music was very epic. It's perfect for the stage. This is definitely a new concept right here. Like not, not the bullet bills, but the cannonball bullets and the way they shoot. And I was like, whoa. Watch out for these, and here's, I forgot who this is, Lemmy Koopa. And real easy, boom, boom. I mean, I'm about to say pwn, I was trying to say boom and pwn at the same time I said boom. Now I skip and say, get the wand of wonder. And the king has been restored to his human self. And that would do it for part one. I will see you guys in part two for Desert Land. Till then, God bless and take care.